back to Basic Bananas TV. Hey, hey. Welcome. So, <laughs> welcome back. Today we want to share a little tip with you about leadership and really about a certain aspect of leadership. It's such a huge topic and we will be sharing more about it. But the one aspect we want to really focus on is how can you bring out brilliance in people? How, how can you make people do really amazing and remarkable work? As because, a leader, how can we do that? Yeah, exactly. Because it really is our job as business owners and entrepreneurs, if you have a team around you, it is our job to get the best out of people and make them step up. So, you know, the first, really the first key here that I'd like to share is that make sure that when you hire those people to surround yourselves with, that you hire people that are better than you are in those certain tasks that you need them to do work for you for. So don't don't be afraid to hire people that are better than you. I don't have a little power trip thinking, oh, I only hire people that are, you know, I want to be the best. No, you don't want to be the best at certain tasks. You want to hire people that are better than you are. And I, I'm the first to admit that I have a lot of people here, we have a lot of people on the team that are way better at certain things than I ever strive to be because it frees up time for me to focus on things that I'm good at and I'm not good at everything. It's important to be okay with hiring people that are better than you, like to be okay as you've just said to not um, have to control everything and this is a, an important part of scaling a business. It can be hard to let go a little bit emotionally and you always want to do the best job ever and there's no one on planet earth that can do it better than you. Um, however, think, yeah. <laughs> yeah this is what we think, like and what we all think especially and a lot of business owners I think, I'm sure very, a lot of you will be familiar with this. but. Um, However, there are people that can do it better, and once they get more familiar with it, they can do it um, possibly, you know, hopefully better. And you, if you hire the right people, they might bring in skills, of course, that we don't even, you don't even know about or we don't even have. So it's bringing them in and allowing them to flourish. Um, also, by crediting them too. So oftentimes we'll see if it's a bit too much of a controlled environment, it's kind of like the leader gets them to do work and then takes the credit as well. It's good to, to lift people up by obviously acknowledging people is one of the biggest drivers and you know happiness gauges in the workplace usually is the acknowledgement they get and knowing that they're doing a good job. Um, so giving them the, the, the honour of taking the, the, you know, the, the gratitude from clients and acknowledging them for the work that they do but basically crediting them for all of the great work they do um, yeah. yeah, you can even take it one step further. The crediting thing is so important, and unfortunately, sometimes you do see leaders that are trying to steal the thunder, but it's not necessary. You gotta let them shine. You can take it one step further by when you have your brilliant ideas, things that you want to do in the business to improve on things. You can let them own your ideas and let them feel like they are owning it and they're doing it and they are the ones that are almost coming up with those things. You, you, you credit them for that too almost because it's really that's really the power of an amazing leader is to not have a big ego and worry about who came up with it but actually crediting the people in the company for the great work that is being done yeah, because so they will be doing great work for you if you do that. So to wrap it up, hire the right people, um, look for people who are better than yourself so you can grow quickly, give up control to allow the business to be able to scale because obviously you have a capacity with what you can do and credit people, allow them to take the project and credit them and acknowledge them. That's pretty much it. Awesome. That will serve you nice work. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this tip and if you know a business owner or a leader or an entrepreneur who would benefit from these strategies and these tips that we use here, please feel free to share the video and share it anywhere you want. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, you name it. Just Do it. share it. LinkedIn. Share it. <laughs> <laughs> Email. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. Bye.